Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Okay, so this video is actually to replace an older one. Okay, because with some suggestion, okay, I like to redo this video. This video, I'm going to discuss what is actually a link budget. There are several possibilities when actually EM wave actually hit an obstacle. Okay, so this video, we are going to understand okay, what is actually refraction, refraction, diffraction, and also scattering. How this actually occur? Okay, what are the size of the obstacle, for example? So basically, this will be the objective of this video. This will be the part one series discussion on link budget. So guys, if you're keen to know more about link budget, please take a look on the playlist under the description. Over there, you will be able to find a series of discussion on link budget. This is my email. If you have any question regards on this discussion, please drop me an email. Okay, or if not, you are always welcome to ask me your question through the comment. Okay, before I continue, okay, I'd like to urge you guys to help this channel by like this video. For those who are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Once again, thank you so much for strong support. Let's quickly understand okay, what are the different radio propagation mechanisms. For example, this is a transmitter. This is a receiver. What I want to do is I want to send a message from the transmitter to the receiver. So what actually happened here, you can imagine that the signal actually will antenna with distance, which means that the signal strength becomes smaller and smaller when they actually propagate with distance. So basically, this is one of the waveform propagation mechanism. So now what happened here is basically when the EM wave actually hit an obstacle, okay, there may be four possible outcome. The first outcome will be refraction. The second will be refraction. The third one will be diffraction. And last but not least, scattering. Which means that when the EM wave, when they actually propagate without any obstacle, they will continue on. What actually happened will be the signal actually will be antenna with distance. But what happened over here when they actually encounter an obstacle? Either one of the four scenarios may actually occur. So this video, we are going to study these four scenarios which may so-called change the radio propagation path. The first one that we are going to understand will be refraction. Okay, so refraction in EM wave propagation refers to the phenomenon when an EM wave actually encounter a boundary or an obstacle, okay, such as a very large object, and is redirect back into the medium from which is actually origin, rather than passing through or being absorbed by the object. Okay, so over here you can see that this is a building, so the obstacle is actually very large as compared to the wavelength. So when the transmitter wave actually propagate and when they actually hit this large object, which is the building, refraction actually happen. You can see, basically, this is what it means. It redirects back into the medium. Basically, it redirects back into the medium. So, rather than passing through or being absorbed by the object. So, basically, this is the definition of refraction. So, refraction actually occur when EM wave actually hit a very large object. Okay, so the object dimension is actually very large as compared to the wavelength of the EM wave. So, basically, this is the idea of refraction. Okay, so this is what I have described earlier on. So when the surface is actually smooth, you can see that the angle of incident is actually equal to the angle of refraction. Okay, so this is only for a very smooth surface. Okay, where is the application for refraction? Okay, so this form of communication, okay, using fiber optics is actually a very good illustration of refraction. So basically, you can see that these are... It, Mirror, you can just imagine this are mirror. So you can see that the light signal actually propagate and refraction. Another one refraction. And you can see that this is how the signal actually propagate. So basically the refraction actually helps to keep the beam of light trapped inside the cable. Okay, so even when they actually bend, okay, the light is still within inside the cable. So basically this is one of the application of refraction. Okay, another application of refraction is actually this diagram here. Okay, you can see that this is actually a radar. They actually transmit a signal when they actually hit a so-called object. Okay, 
for example, for this case, it's an aircraft. Okay, you can see from here the reflection actually occur. And based on the reflect signal, I know that there is actually something in the air. So basically with this, I actually can detect where will be the position of the aircraft. So this is another application of reflection. Okay, so next okay, is actually reflection. Okay, so reflection is actually the bending of light. Okay, so this is something that we have learned in our early school days. Okay, when they actually hit one obstacle to another obstacle, because of different density, the light starts to bend. Okay, so basically reflection is actually the bending of light or any wave such as sound wave or water wave when they actually pass from one medium to another with a different density or reflection index. Okay, this change in direction occur okay, because the speed of the light change when it's actually enter a medium with a different optical density. Okay, so basically, I'm not going to describe this so-called SNEW law. Okay, but over here, you can see that these are how we actually can calculate the SNEW law. This video, I mainly want to explain what is actually reflection. You can see that there are actually two different medium. Okay, when they actually travel from one medium to another medium, you can see that instead of one straight line, it start to bend. Okay, because there is a different optical density. Okay, when which means that the wave actually travel at different speed. So therefore, it actually start to bend. On the next slide, I will further illustrate this. But this is the property of reflection. Okay, so let's take a look on this diagram to understand better. Okay, so this line here is basically to determine one so-called property, another one, another property. So basically, these are different optical density. So over here, you can see that the EM wave actually travel at a hyper speed. Over here, N2, you can see that the EM wave actually travel at a slower speed. So when they actually hit, okay, basically the so-called boundary, you can see that the change in terms of the speed of the EM wave over here. Okay, so in order to understand better, you can see this. When this EM wave actually hit a so-called a boundary, this is the boundary line between N1 and N2. Okay, because you can see here, N1 actually travel faster than N2. Okay, so basically from here, you can see that they actually hit this obstacle faster than this. So therefore, they start to bend. This part, they also start to bend. Okay, so basically, this is the property of reflection. Okay, when wave move into a small, sl slower medium, the wave front actually get compressed. So basically, this is what it means. The wave front actually get compressed. For the wave front to stay connected at the boundary, the wave must change direction. So basically, this thing cannot go on. Okay, because this part, they actually slow down first. So therefore, in order to so-called stay connected, they must bend. So basically, this is the property of reflection. Okay, so before I continue, guys, again, if you find this video helpful, please help me by like this video. Just a few seconds. Just help me to like this video. For those who are new and you have learned something, please consider to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Thank you so much. Let's go to diffraction. Okay, diffraction is actually a phenomenon that actually occurs when a wave encounter an obstacle edge or actually a small little opening that is comparable in size to its wavelength. Okay, it involves the bending, spreading, and also the interference of wave as they pass around the edges of the obstacle or through the opening. Okay, this effect is observed with all types of wave, including light, sound, and water wave. So basically, this is the meaning of deflection. Okay, for example, this is a transmitter, this is a receiver. In between the transmitter and receiver, there is actually, let's say this is a mountain. Okay, so in theory, if let's say this is the line of sight, okay, you can see that the line of sight is actually obstruct. And technically, let's say that we are not possible to receive the signal. However, okay, when the signal actually propagate at the sharp edge here, okay, as he mentioned here, they will start to bend. And because of this, therefore, the receiver can actually receive the signal. So basically, this is the meaning of deflected wave here. So basically, this actually occur when the radio wave actually meet a very sharp obstacle. Okay, they have the nature tendency to bend around the tip of the obstacle. So basically, this is very sharp. They will bend around the tips. And therefore, this actually made the waveform to be bent around. So therefore, you can see from here, this is how the receiver actually will be able to obtain the signal from the transmitter. Even the line of sight is actually obstructed. 
Okay, so basically, as he mentioned here, you can see here, the signal actually propagate in a straight line. They start to bend and redirect back. I think on the next diagram, okay, you will be able to understand better on deflection. Okay, so basically, this is a diagram of deflection. So this is a two opening here. Okay, you can see that the wave actually travel in a constant speed. Once they hit these two opening, you can see that the wave actually redirect into different direction. So therefore, over here, let's say we actually still able to receive the signal. Okay, even technically, let's say this is actually all obstruct. Okay, and then because of the opening, okay, I actually can receive the signal. Okay, so basically, this is the meaning of deflection. Okay, so let's move on to the last one, which is the scattering. Okay, scattering in EM wave propagation actually refers to the phenomenon when an EM wave actually deviate from the straight line projectile due to the interaction with object or irregularly in the medium through which it's actually traveling. This deviation actually occurs when the wave actually encounter particulars object that is very small in size or comparable to the wavelength okay, or change in the material properties that are comparable in size to the wavelength of the wave. So basically this you can see over here. Okay, so this waveform basically in theory they will go on and on. The signal will become smaller and smaller. When they actually hit so-called a size that is comparable, scattering actually occur. Okay, so basically the definition is mentioned here. When the radio wave actually met a rough surface or a very small object whose dimension is actually comparable to the radio wave, such as the dust particular, okay, the leaves or even the raindrop, okay, it will tends to be reflected into many directions. So therefore, we call this scattering. Okay, let's take a look on the application of scattering. Okay, so basically, scattering is actually used to detect the weather. Okay, basically, when we actually on board on the aircraft, Okay, I'm not sure whether you have uh, so-called uh, visualized this. Uh, actually, the pilot has some so-called understand what is actually the weather ahead of them. So how they actually know is because through the weather radar. Okay, so imagine this is an aircraft. Okay, so basically they send a EM wave. Okay, when there is actually so-called scattering, okay, the pilot actually know that actually there will be rain, snow or whatever in front. And therefore, the pilot can decide to brave through the rain or actually can climb over the rain or turn left or turn right a little bit to avoid the rain. So basically, this is the application for scattering. It's mainly to use as a weather radar. Okay, with this, i like to end my discussion. Okay, please up to like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now. Thank you.